In the 1980s, men taking care of kids was the subject of several hit comedies. The sitcom My Two Dads took the baton from Mr. Mom and Three Men and a Baby and asked, what if teenager Nicole had not one, but two dads? This is me, Nicole Bradford. Cute, huh? This is my dad. And this is my dad. How'd I get two dads? They inherited me. And there's a twist. No one knows which dad is Nicole's biological father. The father is biologically indeterminate. Well, that's you. <laughs> My Two Dads ran for three seasons on NBC and became a staple in reruns. But did you know there was almost a My Two Dads spinoff? No. A backdoor pilot episode tried to launch a sitcom for supporting characters played by sports legend Dick Butkus and a very young Giovanni Ribisi, who at the time went by the rad name Vani. <laughs> Why didn't the spinoff happen? And what are Davy Jones and Bull from Night Court doing here? I'm Bull Shannon, bodyguard. Find out on Behind the Backdoor Pilot, My Two Dads. I don't want to miss these golden moments. My Two Dads was the brainchild of creator Michael Jacobs, the family sitcom guru behind hits like Charles in Charge and Boy Meets World. My Two Dads was a hit when it premiered in September of 1987. The sitcom fit in nicely with NBC's family comedy lineup. Then on My Two Dads, Joey's down in flames, but Michael's fired up. We don't kiss and tell. Did you kiss? Can't you tell? The only in the 80s premise was The Odd Couple Meets Three Men and a Baby. Paul Reiser, hot off roles in films like Aliens and Beverly Hills Cop, plays neurotic finance guy Michael. And how do you define friend? Friend, someone I have seen naked. And Greg Evigan is wild and crazy artist Joey. Joey Harris, the man Michael wants to be when he grows up. You can tell he's a cool 80s guy from his funky apartment. Love that sweet car couch. Fun fact, Greg Evigan sang the catchy My Two Dads theme song... Just like he did for his trucker and a monkey show, BJ and the Bear. I'm BJ McKay and this is my best friend. Yeah. Another fun fact, the My Two Dads pilot used the awesome Clarence Clemens Jackson Brown song, You're a Friend of Mine, as the theme song. In the first episode, we learned that Joey and Michael were rivals for the affections of a woman named Marcy. You don't want to meet him. He wears sweaty t-shirts, he eats meat, he's an animal. Look at him. After Marcy dies, her former paramours show up for the reading of the will. This was the first woman I ever cared about. Hey, this is the last woman I ever cared about. They discover that Marcy has left them something. Whatever Marcy left us, let's appraise it, sell it, split it, goodbye. Agreed? her teenage daughter, Nicole. This is Nicole Bradford. Congratulations, it's a girl. And wouldn't you know it, no one knows who Nicole's biological father actually is. The father is biologically indeterminate. By the end of the pilot, Michael and Joey agree to raise Nicole together. Well, because we're two people that think that having a daughter is one of the most beautiful things in the world. Only in the 80s could this dilemma be resolved in a half hour. Aww. Nicole is played by Stacey Keenan, and she almost wasn't cast in the role that made her famous. So then I did the pilot, but then the network didn't want me. Luckily, Michael Jacobs pushed for Keenan to be cast in the series, and the rest is sitcom history. Dad? Yeah. yeah. Just checking. Florence Stanley of Barney Miller and Fish fame brought her no-nonsense deadpan humor to the role of Judge Wilbur. Here's the judge who brought us together. And in a very 80s sitcom twist, Judge Wilbur is also their landlord. She lives in our building. My building. I own it. Judge Wilbur has to be breaking several housing laws here. The cast is rounded out by football legend Dick Butkus as Ed Klawicki, in a convenient bit of typecasting, he plays a former football legend who runs the local diner. Giovanni, excuse me, Vani Rabisi plays Nicole's boyfriend, Corey Kupkus. Chad Allen of Our House fame joined the cast in season two as Zach, a stud who competed with Corey for Nicole's affection. Two dads and two love interests. Also joining the show in season two was Amy Hathaway as Nicole's friend Shelby. 
You might remember her as Denise the Grease from The Wonder Years. She also played Charles Bronson's daughter in the sleazy thriller Kinjite Forbidden Subjects. Like every 80s sitcom, My Two Dads featured guest stars like Davy Jones from The Monkees, who appeared on two episodes. He sang the My Two Dads theme song with Joey. Very meta. You can count on me, no matter what you do. There was even a crossover with fellow NBC sitcom Night Court. Are you my long-lost brother, Timmy? <laughs> when Judge Wilbur is threatened by a crook she put away, Bull shows up as her bodyguard. Hi, everybody. Get your meat hooks off me, you mutant. The episode has some wacky Night Court-style humor. <laughs> and Judge Wilbur appeared on Night Court in the episode where Bull was on a game show. I know you people think I don't like you, but you're wrong. I loathe you. <laughs> With My Two Dads a success in its first season, it's not surprising that the producers would try for a spin-off of their hit show. The season one finale, Friends of the Family, is a backdoor pilot that sets up a potential spin-off focused on some fan-favorite characters, Clawicki and the Cupcus Brothers. Bradley Gregg played Corey's bad boy older brother Roy on a few episodes. Look, you picked a girl with two fathers. You moron. I told you don't do that. He showed off his bully energy as eyeball chambers in Stand By Me. Now, Christopher, I know you didn't mean to insult my friend. According to Bradley Gregg, My Two Dads viewers responded well to the Cupkiss brothers' antics. Pairing them with Dick Butkus' cuddly Ed Klawicki for a potential spinoff makes sense. Sports figures turned actors were a staple of 80s sitcoms. See Bob Euchre in Mr. Belvedere and Alex Karras in Webster. At the end of season one of My Two Dads, creator Michael Jacobs decided to base a backdoor pilot episode around Klawicki and the Kupkis brothers. The episode, Friends of the Family, kicks off with the gang hanging out at Klawicki's diner. Yeah, you just can't help walking around smiling on a day like this, can you, Judge? Pour it in the cup. Joey is headed to the beach, and we learn Roy Kupkis is waxing up Joey's motorcycle. Wait a minute, you let my brother near your motorcycle? Yeah, what? Cue crash in three, two, one. Kupkis, party one. And because this is a backdoor pilot, Michael, Nicole, and Joey then leave their own show. And we, oh, we can all leave through this convenient exit. The focus then shifts to the stars of this episode, Ed Klawicki and the Kupkis brothers. Judge Wilbur gives Roy a punishment for the broken door that's also a convenient plot setup. Which is why I'm sentencing you to work it off here. What? Someone should really look into Judge Wilbur's misuse of her judicial authority. Court's in session, the Honorable Me presiding. She's like the sitcom Judge Dredd. I am the law! Then we meet a brand new character, Mother Cupkus. Let me take that for you. What'd you do? How many people were hurt? Karen Cupkus is played by Lauren Twos, best known as Julie, your cruise director on The Love Boat. You see, Karen's a single mom, and the Cupkiss brothers lack a father figure. They forget about Dad. He went out running five years ago, and he kept going. Thighs must be this big. <laughs> That's where Big Ed Klawicki comes in. Freeze! <laughs> Leave my hair alone! You're not my father. Aren't we both real glad of that? Nice apron, bud. <laughs> hey, it's Michael Deloise from Wayne's World and a million other things. He's a caveman. Hey, remember Nicole and her two dads, the stars of the show? Hope you like the diner, because that's where all their scenes take place in this backdoor pilot. Ugh, we never get to see Joey's day at the beach. Like a rom-com meet-cute, Roy's antics bring Klawicki and Karen together. And the studio audience approves. <laughs> Meanwhile, Corey is really thirsty for Klawicki to date his mom. When's the last time you had someone cook for you? But Roy is all, Klawicki ain't our pops. We have a father. Look, he hasn't stopped by to say hello in five years, and we haven't had a phone call in eight months. Like every 80s child of divorce, Roy blames himself for their dad going out for a carton of milk and never coming back. We're doing fine without some guy coming in here to play daddy for a while before he decides I'm good for nothing and takes off too. 
Meanwhile, Klawicki notices tension between the Kupkis boys. So I should step in? And decides this pair of miscreants needs a cuddly 80s sitcom surrogate dad. Why'd your husband leave you? An employee of mine thinks he was the reason. Roy? Mother and son Kupkis resolve their differences with a heartwarming moment. Hi, I'm Roy Kupkis, father repellent. He walked out on me. He didn't love me. Cue sitcom hug. Michael, Joey, and Nicole return for the wrap-up. Don't ever fight. A family shouldn't fight. And Klawicki hints at his feelings for Karen Kupkis. She's a good woman. Uh Uh-oh. Judge Wilbur delivers a warning that's also a setup for a spinoff. Carefully, Klawicki. Family relationships are very delicate. And before you know it, you're in deeper than you intended. I'm just a casual observer. I'm just a friend of the family. Ooh, ooh, he said the episode title. The episode ends with Roy and Corey making up. You don't got it in you to be mad for 10 minutes, especially at me, who you worship and emulate. And Klawicki asks Karen out on a date. Saturday night? Dinner? Well, that'd be lovely, Ed. What's the special? Had Friends of the Family gone to series, it would have been a classic blended family sitcom with Klawicki helping to raise Karen's sons. I put the fries down real slow where I can see him. Friends of the Family ticks off a lot of backdoor pilot boxes. It tries to spin off supporting characters, just like 227 attempted to do with a backdoor pilot for Jack A's character, Sandra. I'm sorry. I was just thinking of suitable names for blonde-haired black children. There's also a familiar TV face in the potential spin-off cast with Lauren Twos. Webster tried that move when Norman Fell appeared in the failed backdoor pilot, Almost home. You're Webster? Give me that. (laughs) But friends of the family didn't find a friendly home at NBC. A change in leadership at the network killed this spinoff before it spun off. You know what? I think right now, the right move is bye. (laughs) Michael Jacobs did eventually get to do a sitcom about squabbling brothers. We're brothers, okay? You know what? You're right. right. No, we're brothers. We're not friends. No, it means you don't have to like me, and you don't. There's even a character named Corey. After My Two Dads ended in April of 1990, the cast went on to bigger things. Paul Reiser had another sitcom success with Mad About You. Guys always want the boom. We only made up the whole bing and a bang just to get the boom. And became a best-selling author and hood expert. Greg Evigan is a TV movie staple and appeared opposite his daughter Brianna in the Hallmark movie Once Upon a Holiday. Stacey Keenan went on to play Dana Foster on Step by Step and starred in the cult serial killer thriller, Lisa. These days, Stacey Keenan has left showbiz behind and works as a deputy district attorney under her birth name, Anastasia Sigorsky. Guest Judge Wilbur really inspired Stacey. Does Stacey own a building too? My building. (laughs) I own it. TGIF fans will also want to check out the step-by-step episode recap podcast Keenan does with co-star and pal Christine Lakin. It's a super tame family show where the mom and the dad are hot for each other all the time. All the time. After My Two Dads, Dick Butkus turned up in movies like Gremlins 2 and played coach Mike Katowinski on the NBC teen sitcom Hang Time. Sadly, the actor and football great passed away in 2023. Stacey Keenan remembered her My Two Dads co-star as a gentle, sweet, quiet man. As for Vani Rabisi, he appeared on sitcoms like Davis Rules and Married with Children. Hey, it's young Stephen Dorff. And then Vani vanished into obscurity. Just kidding. Giovanni Rabisi started going by his full name in the 90s and scored gritty roles on shows like NYPD Blue and The X-Files. I said it was... It's his game. Hey, it's young Jack Black. Today, Giovanni Ribisi is an acclaimed actor with roles in everything from Friends to Avatar. They're fly-bitten savages that live in a tree. But he still remembers his Vani days. The Italian shortening or the, the nickname for Giovanni is Vani. Growing up in the valley, it would be like... Vani? Vani? Vani. That's yeah. one of the first Vani. Oh, there you go. That's it. Though it only lasted three seasons, My Two Dads is well-remembered by fans. 
Greg Evigan and Stacey Keenan reminisced about the show's success for the DVD extras. It was still a time when, you know, 30 million people right. would regularly watch a, a sitcom. Right. I would get recognized from either that or that trucking guy with the chimpanzee. Hey, maybe the My Two Dads cast could reunite on the Night Court reboot. They're in the same universe after all. Judge Wilbur, what a pleasure to see your face again. Stop it, Fielding. You bet. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Atomic Abe for more episodes of Behind the Backdoor Pilot, like the Who's the Boss episode that launched a spinoff for Leah Remini and Halle Berry. Trim Dip, a non-fat artificial sour cream-like substance. Keep away from open flames. <laughs>